What's happening, Magnus Sykes? Is Tyrone Magnus going to audition for Tough Enough now? So, Triple H made the announcement that they are bringing back Tough Enough. Now, I gotta tell you, years ago, I would have gone out for Tough Enough. I was in a totally different state of mind. And I really wanted to be a wrestler. Around the time Goldberg. Goldberg is the guy, the single guy, that only wrestler that made me literally want to be a wrestler. I've shaved my head. I was rocking a goatee like him. Y'all should have seen me. <laughs> 205 pounds solid. Yeah. Who's next? So, the years have gone on. My priorities have changed. My goals have changed. And, um, you know, just looking at the wrestling business, um, I respect these guys. And it's a, it's a man respect. And guys know what I mean by this. It's a man respect for every single guy that goes into this tough business. It's tough mentally and it's tough physically. Apparently, there's plenty of, uh, you know, travel, not much downtime. You don't get to see your family or relax much. And it's hard on you. Bumps, 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 bumps. You can get concussions. Cuts, broken fingers, hernias, just, you know, neck injuries, just, you know, just so many things can happen to you. You can be crippled for life. You can even be killed. And it's because my focus has become more health um, and longevity, I can't get into a business where I've read that every bump that you take is equivalent to a small car accident. That's a lot of punishment on your body. Now, some guys say, well, fuck that. You know, pain is temporary. Glory's forever. Well, pain isn't always temporary. Some people are in pain for the rest of their lives. Crippled for the rest of their lives. Um, one thing I wouldn't mind doing, though, I got to tell you, is being a manager. If WWE had something for managers or tryouts for managers... That's something I would possibly think about doing. Because I've noticed the more wrestling videos that I do, the more commentary that I have. Sometimes I'll go on rants. Some of you are like, man, just the promos that you cut when you are talking are just phenomenal. And every, I don't write anything that I say. I'm always off the cuff. So I said, you know what? Getting dressed up in a suit. Maybe some sunglasses coming out and talking trash. I would have to be a heel manager. Definitely a heel manager. Talking trash for people. Oh, my God, that shit would be fun. Interfering in matches, you know what I mean? Every once in a while, you know, got to take a bump, you know. Wrestler grabs me. <laughs> throw, throw me in the ring. They, you know, they press me. They <laughs> drop me. Everybody's cheering. I'm all fucked up and convulsing in the ring. <laughs> Somebody help! <laughs> you know what I mean? I think that shit would be totally fun. And it's it's crazy because it's, you know it's almost like you get the cool. Uh, like put it this way: the travel I always thought was a burden, but as well as a gift. These guys travel the world all the time. They get to see so many different parts of the planet and meet so many different cultures. And that's one thing I want to do. So you're telling me I get to have fun, talk trash, hang around all these cool-ass wrestlers, um, be a part of wrestle, uh, wrestling, maybe even make wrestling history. Who knows, I could go down as the greatest manager of all time. <laughs> Some of you are like, oh, fuck that! You can't beat Paul Heyman or Bobby Brain. Oh, calm down, y'all. I'm just saying. Uh, it would be fun to explore that part of the business. And, you know, it's funny. One of you are a, um, are a uh, wrestler, and he got contacted me. And he said, hey, you know, um, you could be my manager. You know, I might be in your area soon. I'll let you know. And I told him, you know, I said I would think about it. I'm still not sure if I want to or not. But it's something that I'm toying with. 
that I think would be really fun. So, if WWE ever has something for manager tryouts, that's something I think I would like to try to do. And someone told me, like, there's no training for managers. It's like either you have it or you don't. You just talk. You talk trash. You walk your wrestler out, you know, and, and that's about it. I think you have to learn something about storytelling and all that stuff, though, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, so I won't be joining Tough Enough. A lot of y'all been writing me, oh, you're going to do it, you're going to do it, you would be great. Like, I get comments all the time where people are like, you would be such a great wrestler. And maybe I would be. Maybe I would be. Maybe I'd be one of those guys that's just really great on the mic. Like, if I were to judge myself, I think I'd be really great on the mic good in the ring, okay? But I wouldn't be like a technician. I think I'd be more like an athlete, athletic type, um, maybe smash mouth type of wrestler. Uh, I'm not gonna be Adrian Neville. I'd probably be similar, some of y'all might laugh, but I'd probably be similar to someone like Roman Reigns, okay? Um, you know, just uh, as far as in, some uh, phones. Somebody's calling me. In the ring, you know, um, similar to someone like Roman Reigns. But um, on the mic, similar to someone like um, Flair, Hogan, The Rock, Stone Cold. You know, being able to just go off the cuff, say what I want to say, hit all my bullet points. You know, I'm not down for being scripted. Like they say, they, they script these guys word for word now. Sorry, my next little step. I'd like to hit bullet points and talk trash, and I think that would be the best I think I'd be good at acting a fucking fool outside of the ring, talking trash to the fans. I'd really get immersed in it. I think I would really have a lot of fun with it. It's just the toll that it takes on the guys' bodies. I know these guys are retiring a lot earlier now, um, and be, or and or becoming part timers a lot earlier now. I think they're they're really realizing the toll that it takes on the bodies and old timers. You know, they're seeing the effects on them, and it's just like. To them, they don't see that it's worth it to go so long and do that. Because some of them, it, it's still, like, a short amount of time takes the toll on their bodies. You know what I mean? I, I just, I, I want to be totally fluid and uh, youthful for as long as possible. And I don't know if I can do that in a, uh, a sports entertainment field that deals with so much physical stress and pain. You know, so... Post your comments down below and let me know what you think. Would you be for me being a WWE manager? Let me know. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. If you did not, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. Or Stone Road Steve Austin is going to whip every single one of your asses. And that's the bottom line, because Stone Road said so.